who is this Rudy Poo? Want to go one on one with the great one? He in your top five, not in my top 50. Take that, take that. Dancing like Diddy, my vocab is witty. I make him look shitty like. Hold up, swole up. Roll up. Let's talk about it. This your boy Ricky Ruben, man. And, uh, today's topic, you know, is uh, that new Carter B song, uh, WAP, you know, Where They Have Vagina. And, uh, you know, the reaction that people is uh, having with it, please. You know what I'm saying? Take your time, roll up. Pause the video if you need to, because we're going to sit down and have a grown folks conversation. You feel me? So, take your time. So, now let's look. <clears throat> There's no way to sugarcoat it. say, oh, well, you know, have sex with the women, or yeah, bang it, trying to train me on my thought, fuck the bit, woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Why is it such a big deal when a woman say, you know what, I'm going to do the same thing that a man do. Now, let's take the double standards out. That's a great fucking business move. You know what I'm saying? What she did was, well, what they did was, you know, um, it was smart. You know what I mean? Good marketing, good strategy. Just like niggas like, the, oh, I have the biggest penis. What, what, what female don't walk away? This good shit, but I love this song. Wasn't a fan of the video, but I love the song. And I feel like as people, period, black, white, purple, or whatever, you know, they always be looking for something to hate on. Why hate? They young, they doing their thing, they vibrant. You know, eh, eh. Why? You the same age, you did the same thing, man. I think it's just double standards. And then a lot of these people are mad they ain't come up with the idea first. Yeah. You know, your celebrities who got the little jokes. Oh, you know, they they teaching our women to be hoes. What about us niggas who be rapping by gun? We teaching our sons to be hoes. Listen, man. We just keep it a hundred here. That hip hop unfiltered. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 right is right and wrong is wrong, man. You know? So... You make sure you go in the comment section, you leave your opinion, your thoughts, how you feel, you know, about, you know, the Cardi B topic, you know, now, one more thing before I move on to the next topic, right? If you are one of the people that genuinely don't like the soul, then that's cool. You don't like the song, but if your thing is you don't like the song because of, you know, the content, I respect that. All I ask you to tell me is, are you a virgin? If you're a virgin and you have never had sex and you don't like this song, that's cool. I respect it. I feel it. But if you have had sexual intercourse and you don't like this song, explain to me why. Because at the end of the day, no matter what, everybody loves a whore. Whether it's a whore just for you or a community whore. Men love whores. And when I say whore, I don't mean like sleeping around. I mean like going to do some 
You know what I'm saying? Do some nasty things. Everybody like, you know, everybody like to get blessed. Everybody like a little talk. So what's the difference between them? Them saying, hey, get this wet ass pussy, this top, this, 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 this. What's the difference between what everybody else going? What is, what, what, why do y'all think that is such a big deal? Is it because it's Cardi B? Or is it because it's Meg? Because she just got shot? You know what I'm saying? What? What, what did you think, man? Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and the way we rock this, man, this episode ain't over until the J gone. So take your time. Smoke with your boy. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna, we just gonna you know, we just gonna flow through. So, next thing I really want to talk about it's snitch nine. Yeah, I said it. This my thing, bro. Cubs, my brother, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have him on the show. That's going to be, we gonna, we're going to argue. You're, you're going to be entertained. But, you know, he like, he feel like, hey, <laughs> he never thought, you know, Takashi was no gangster. <laughs> you think he a gangster? Then <laughs> you foolish. <laughs> and what I must admit, I like what Kevin Gates did. You know what I mean? And Kevin Gates ain't the nigga you really hear, you know. Beefing with a nigga or really going at a nigga, you don't really hear that in the media too much. So when he stepped out of pocket and was like, you know, dropped this little video, cracking this little jokes, I felt it. You feel me? Because it's like, at the same time, <coughs> everybody, oh, he a snitch, he a rat. <coughs> but y'all still buying his music. Y'all still going to scream and shit. Oh, this, this nigga did get caught buying screens, but hey, that's promotion, baby. Who gonna promote their records? Well, I, I take that back. I know niggas who won't promote their records. But how is how, why y'all able to move past that? Why is it okay for niggas to rat come home? And everybody just, you know, it's just, it's just cool. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Okay, niggas say Takashi ain't a street nigga, right? Let's keep it a hundred. Who starts off a street nigga? As in any nigga in the street. You did not start off as a street nigga. That's not how you started. You are, you, you, you have it in you. But you have to. Walk this path, and the path leads you. Now, some people choose the way they go, or sometimes the path just hits you. But nobody comes out the vagina a straight nigga. I'm a savage. I'm, I'm gang gang. So I don't want to hear that he wasn't a street nigga. Cause the moment you put a bag on a nigga head, that make you a street nigga. The moment you say, "Hey, go boy, go get that and bring that back to me," that make you a street nigga. You feel me? So, oh, he manipulate. How a nigga manipulating him and he paying a motherfucker to go handle that? You paying him. You feel me? You pay cool to be. Hey, that nigga talk crazy, man. Pop at that nigga. How are you being manipulated? How are you being manipulated? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. But y'all want to crucify T.I. Niggas want to crucify T.I. Oh, he did the crime. Stop the commission. Did, did, did to get him up under a situation, man. I think I ain't tell on nobody. Not me personally. I wouldn't have did that shit. You would have just had to, you know what I'm saying, do what they going to do. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, I mean, but hey. You got to also remember Tip at the height of his career at that point when that happened. You know what I'm saying? 
So he's trying to get back to the back. Anybody know you have a window. Some people windows are big. Some people window are small. But either way, his window was closed. You don't know. So, okay. This man lied. I mean, not lied. This man snitched. And for the whole world to see, he ain't trying to be, he ain't trying to be secretive or nothing. And then Akon was about to put that nigga on the locked up remix. I'm glad Akon thought better of that shit, of that, because, bro, I'd have been done with Akon. I was, oh, I was on the bird. Hey, what the was up? Gilly, Gilly trip, yeah, Gilly trip. Bet you won't get Styles P to rap on that motherfucker. I'm like, boy, he damn sure ain't gonna do it. He damn sure ain't gonna do it, boy. Know what I'm saying? So it's like. This what, this is what I want. This is what I want to say. Everybody want to hear this, you know. This certain style of music, I'm real. I'm this. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with going to school, doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it, it's a lot of niggas. If they'll be honest with you, and they're in the street, it, it's. 80% of them will tell you right now, nigga, if I could get these felonies back and go get on somebody's job site and be, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a regular civilian, nigga, go, nigga, man, nigga, go, out of there, out of there, you can have all this shit, all the, nigga, have all the work, let me be a regular citizen, let me walk around and don't have to watch over my shoulder, I'm watching for the jikers and I'm watching for the law. Plenty of them. So why do these? I couldn't think of the word. Why do these guys lie this or that, try to protect him into this, 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 and this? Oh, he's a child. He, you know, they make all these excuses for him. When his kids, like, follow me. Y'all remember some years back when the 15-year-old boy, now my phone's gonna go dead. The 15-year-old boy, hit his people, I think it was his little brother or something. Hit his little, I think, I think it was, but you won't remember the story when I finish. They watch a wrestling, which many of us have. He hit his little brother with a power driver and killed him. Now you know damn well. When you ever seen, bro, you ain't never seen a nigga in the street fight. Nigga, 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 that stole nigga, bought a good, pop, 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 nigga, kicking nigga in the stomach, boom, bend the nigga over, set a nigga up, power drive a nigga. You don't see that shit, man. So you know damn well that boy was trying to kill his motherfucking people. You know what? Sun his ass up the road. So how, a kid being a kid doing what? 75% of the world has done as a child wrestle. They do say, don't, don't, don't try this at home. Why you put that shit? I mean, yeah, you got to put it up there to protect yourself, but we're going to try this shit at home. Everybody trying to wrestle at home. You feel me? So why this kid don't get a second chance, don't get mercy or leniency, <coughs> but a motherfucker Who playing the role? <coughs> playing with people's life, he get to get a second chance. He putting money on the nigga head. You know what I'm saying? But he get another chance, and y'all just oh forget him. But this, but this boy who really who ain't got the money to get more expensive ass lawyer 
the fight no case and all this other shit like that. He just he don't have the resources. Because this little punk motherfucker gonna tell why did they taste good at the buck? Oh, you see the little slob of okay, blah blah blah, but it came or something. But look. That's right. That's fair. What the other thing? Talk to me. But yeah, man. Hey, this hip hop went filtered, man. Episode one, baby. Blog what episode? Yeah, I don't know. I put these shits out there. I just don't. What message is the government trying to send? Think about it. If you poll, we don't give Because, see, everybody is so caught up on it being black or white. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is an issue. It is about black or white. But the number one thing that it's about is rich and poor. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't got the bag, you's a nigga. Point blank. If you don't got a bag, you are a nigga. That's how they look at us. You, black, white, Puerto Rican, SA, I mean, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you don't got the money, you ain't shit. Your life is, you know what I'm saying? It has very little value to them. Oh, no, It's an OG Kush. <coughs> that I'm smoking. <coughs> Make sure. <laughs> Make sure you hit the uh, the comment section. Let me know what kind of weed you smoke. You know what I'm saying? I might try and get that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <coughs> so. You know, that it just it aggravates me. It, I'm tired of seeing shit like that happen, man. Like I see these fuck niggas get off, man. And then the real niggas who, you know what I'm saying, be out here for the right reasons, doing this not to be cool or, you know, get some likes or some views. The niggas that's out here really getting it because they got to feed their family. They got to, you know, pay their bills. They not out here, you know, grinding to ride around and, you know what I'm saying, Foreign cars, they they out here doing this to feed their family or to take care of their mama who's sick or, you know, all these noble-ass reasons. Them the niggas getting 100 years. Them the motherfuckers getting 100 years for the smallest. Like, I got to say, man, if I could tell you anything, man, I recommend give somebody some game. If you smart enough, if you, if you old enough, you done been through enough, you done survived some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Get somebody some game. Give them some free game. Whether they listen or not, today, just give a nigga some game, bro. You feel me? Fucking weird, bro. Yeah, but give them some game, bro. You feel me? But uh <clears throat> 
go ahead and wrap this up. Well, I don't know, we got a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> last thing. <laughs> hey man, this hip hop went filter, so I talk about whatever the fuck, whatever I want to talk about. So, y'all think about sending y'all kids back to school with the coronavirus? Mm. Nah, I ain't sending mine back. Not for the problem. What mine? I ain't sending them back. You hear me? Nah, nah, nah. Too many, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you can keep your child home, man, keep your child home, man. But these people just worry about making money, man. I know some people feel like it ain't real and all this. I'm telling you, me personally, people that are directly connected to my life have caught the COVID-19. So I know that it's real. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing that. I'm, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you sit your child. We gonna sit by the can, wait, look around, make sure the coast clear. Cause look, y'all already see at public school. I mean, at private school, it ain't working. You feel me? First day of school, somebody tests positive, not the whole class won't got to go. You know what I'm saying? I seen another school where. A whole bunch of the staff caught it, and they had to. It got the whole staff got it. Man, stay safe. Hip hop unfiltered. Trap stars for life. Like, subscribe, comment. Westside Root. Who is this? Rudy Poo. Want to go one on one with the great one? He in your top five. Not in my top 50. Take that. Take that. Dancing like Diddy. My vocab is witty. I make him look shitty.